Hello, my name is Adrian and welcome to my channel. If you are new to the channel, I am trying here to create a small game engine in order to be used for some game that I will develop here live on stream. I am not using any existing library from the GitHub. I am doing everything my own. So I am using just C++ and OpenGL and so far I started with the platforms module because my small game engine it's developed with the modularity in mind and I started with the platforms module of course the code it's in the description you have a link to our github page and so far we implemented the window we implemented the input we implemented the OpenGL context for it and today we implement some time for it this is part of the platform because mostly when you are starting to use OpenGL you are starting also to move things and the movement most of the time it's done based on the time so without any other stuff in the platform modules is where I decided to add the let's say the time so in the core folder I will add a new class called platform time. I will not use any platform specific time for now. I'm doing everything with the chrono library from C++. Unless I have a problem in the future. Sorry. Unless I have a problem, I will switch it to the platform specific code for that time. Otherwise, it will be used just with the chrono library in C++. Okay. So, like always, let's include the platform time here. Maybe we can add it before the window manager. So, how it works. We have the core because it's in the main folder into the headers I will put summer here the chrono let's sort this like this and we will start by doing some let's say defines or type defs or how you want to call it using and we will say seconds equal with the std chrono duration and instead of the double I will use float after that we'll have something like time clock equal with the std chrono and we'll use the high resolution another definition that we want to have is the time point and we will use it with the high resolution clock and the time if I wanted, I could have this in a separate uh, folder, uh, sorry, header file, but for now, I'll keep them here. In here, we will have some public and some private elements. First, let's start with the time point, which will be the start time. And another one, which will be the current time. Okay, both of them they'll be initialized with let's call it nothing and what we'll have for the auto init void auto update because we want to update the time we want to do some calculation there and later we want to have some other members first we'll have inline static float and we'll have a delta time okay we have another one inline static float total time and what i want to do as a static constant expression 
auto max delta time equal and it will be something around the the value it will be based around the delta time which is like with let's say 15 uh, frames per second something like this so i'll put a 0, 0.0 and uh, something like this okay because we want to have like if let's say the delta time it's dropping below the i don't know you have below the 15 aps we don't want to or this scenario it will be used for example when we kind of uh, let's say have the window in the background and the things are like still updating based on the time and you see some something that is missing and it will go like over the uh let's say the top so with this we'll ensure that at least we'll bring a minimum value let's have some static functions for the delta time and the total time so now what we can do further is to generate all the functions just a second okay so in the initialization we have the starting time equal with the high resolution clock now or if i want i can have like time clock now okay because i define it in here okay time clock now and the current uh, time it's equal with the starting time or we can have something like start time equal with the uh and something like that. okay this is just initialization so we can do something like this. or current time equal with the starting time which is equal with the time clock now for the delta time we will return uh, delta time here and for the total time we will return total time okay that uh, is kind of very simple and into the update we'll have something like constant auto current time equal with the course time clock now and we'll have something like this total time equal with uh, so not minus equal with seconds from current time minus start time and we use the count function very important to use the count function otherwise we will get a will not get a float value you will get something like a time point value so we are having here the uh, total time and we are having here the delta time for the current time we kind of make it as a the new current time and what we are doing at the end if delta time is bigger than the maximum delta time the delta time will be kept as the max delta time okay let's see where is the problem uh, there is a problem just a second float auto i use auto here it should work i don't know it didn't work but let's see if now yes now the problem is solved so how this will be a short video but after this video we will be able to start and work with opengl and graphics and to add something on the screen so and it will kind of close in a way let's say the platform module work on it at least for a while so we have this platform time let's go in here into the main function let's include core core and let's have platform time let's sort this thing okay and what we can do is like in the end here core platform time let's have platform time we initialize it and what we can have at the beginning we can have platform time update okay and 
what we can have further. We can, if we want, we can have an STD print ln. Okay, just a second. Okay, and in here we can kind of have something like sorry, platform time. And first, let's have the delta time uh, output in there. Just a second. Let's use the right header. So let's have the delta time to see how it is printed. So it's around 0 0.006. It's because I have like 144. Just a second to uh, check how much uh, those. In just a second. So you see on my monitor, I have 144. Uh, so this is the, the number of the FPS that I get. So it's around this. And let's check also the total time to see exactly how it behaves, if it behaves correctly. So you see that already one, two, three, four, and so on, seconds are already passing, which is kind of more than okay. Good. Uh, yeah, this is the what I have for you today. It's kind of, uh, let's say, more than enough. Okay. Uh, and yeah, this is the, let's say for now, at least the last element that we were kind of missing from our platforms module. We have the window, we have the input, we have the OpenGL context, and now we have also the time. And we can start and we can move to the OpenGL functions. Uh, and especially we'll start with the OpenGL objects. We will kind of learn about buffers, textures, frame buffers, and so on. And as soon as we are done with that, we can kind of, we can start working on the on the game. Soon I will kind of update the information about the first game that we will do here on the channel. It will look, it looks kind of nice. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. If you liked the, the video, don't forget to, to give it a like. If you didn't have the chance to subscribe, there is a good opportunity now. I was in vacation for two weeks, now I'm back. So we will start to add things more frequently. And uh, yeah, this is it for today. We are closing the platforms module work. And uh, yeah, we are moving to something new. Have a nice day and uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.